Hi everyone, today we're going to create this yellow and green smoky eye. Hope you all enjoy it! So I already highlighted and contoured her face and now I'm taking a black shadow and defining her lash line. With the same black shadow, I'm sketching out the crease of her eye using back and forth motions. For the eyes, I'm using BH Cosmetics. I'm working in circular motions, blending out the crease of the eye, as well as the drop shadow. On the lid, I'm applying a yellow watercolor from Mayron. Next, we're ready to give her an eyebrow. I'm using a skin color watercolor with a very fine brush, creating little strokes of hair. Next, I'm repeating the same motions using a darker color. This will give the eyebrow an illusion of a more realistic eyebrow. Next, I'm going to color in her eye color. You can use anything from this, from color pencils, nail polish. I chose to use watercolors brown and yellow, and I'm blending them in together to give it a little bit more dimension. Next, I'm creating eyelashes. This step could be a little tricky, so I recommend practicing it on a blank face chart. My hand is a little bit blocking the view, so I promise to get another video for you guys on how to create these lashes. But I'm using black watercolors and small strokes of press and lift. I'm using a white liner to erase the contour of the nose. You can also use white out or nail polish. With the BH Highline Contour Kit, I'm creating the contour of the nose placing the line down and blending. With an e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm creating the tip of the nose with a darker brown shadow and blending it out.
With the same brown shadow, I'm darkening the contour of the nose. Next, with a brown eyeshadow, I'm creating a little bit of shadowing under the bottom of the lashes as well as on top of the lower lashes. With a white out pen, I'm adding light source into the eye, again for more dimension. Time for the lips. I'm using NYX lipstick. Not sure what color it is, but I'll try to put it in the caption on the bottom. Filling in the top part of the lips and lower leaving a small gap in between the top lip and the bottom lip. With a black lipstick, I'm adding some more shadow around the lips to create an ombre effect. Now for the final touch, I'm adding a white liquid makeup from Mayron to the center of the lip and blending it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.